are going to continue on with the full face of affordable products. Um, we are going to be doing e.l.f. today. Um, this is the Poreless Face Primer. I'm just going to put this on. The only thing I don't have, and I thought I did, was setting spray. So I don't know. I'm going to prime the face. I may need to put my hair up. So that I can do this. I promise I cleaned my face last night. I don't know why. It looks like I didn't. But I haven't been sleeping very good. So that might be it. If y'all can't hear me in these videos, let me know and I will just start to talk louder. That way you can hear me. Okay. I got this on. I'm going to go ahead and I got this e.l.f. There's a primer and a plumper. But I'm not going to use the plumper. You know what? Let's do this one first. I have the e.l.f. lip exfoliator. And this one is in clear. See, it's just a little... We got cold weather here. Alright. Now I'm going to put the plumper on. The primer is just like concealer, I think. I'll show it to you in a minute. This is the plumper. It's like cinnamon, like most of them. But like I said, I always do it before. I don't know if y'all have noticed that. See, this is the primer, and it looks like concealer. I don't really use that side. But this works really good. There's the tingle. <laughs> okay, now we're going to use the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Natural. So we're going to just go ahead and stick it on the hand. It's got a nice little pump. And where's my beauty blender? There it is. I'm just going to stick it on here with the beauty blender. It's got a smell I can't place. It's like slight perfume, but not bad. Alright. Now I'm going to take my Morphe foundation brush. I just cleaned it the other day. It looks like it needs it again. We're going to put that all over the face. foundation brushes I wash every couple of days it seems like and I love the elf brush everyday brush cleaner but these need to be shampooed but I did I use um last thing I used was this it cosmetics brush cleaner I think it was like 18 20 bucks and I love the way it works and I love the Sephora brand one that spray on everyday cleaner So, if you have brushes that you don't want to shampoo all the time, I shampoo them at least once a month, though. So, but I wash them once a week. Just to make sure nothing builds up in them. Alright, I think that's spread around. Now we're going to move on to the concealer, which they only had three colors, I believe. And this one is light. But this, to me... Look at that. Look how dark that is. It looks like a contour color almost, but we're going to try to cover up these bags. I haven't been sleeping very much because my fiance is in California working. And guess what town? <laughs> Where the fires are. He doesn't feel good. I think he's breathing in too much of the air. Let's get rid of some of this darkness. It's darker than the foundation. That is so odd. 
you think they would at least make the light color lighter than their own foundation. Okay. Now we're going to get the It Cosmetics brush that I have that I use for my under eyes. We're going to go ahead and use that as eye primer. See how it... It might just be me. It just looks darker. I mean, y'all could let me know in the comments if to you that looks like it didn't conceal anything. I might need to pull out one of my other um I don't know where I put them. I'm trying to organize everything and I put them up somewhere in a bag I believe that I could just reach over and grab but I might need to remember which bag that is. Well it doesn't look that bad now that I got it all the way blended. But we also got this e.l.f. under eye brightening powder that you can use. It looks like this. It's just a little bitty thing. I'm going to use that. Um, I'm not going to use my finger. I'm going to use this little brush here. And set it. There we go. We're getting it. It looks a little better. Okay. Now we're going to take the e.l.f. regular powder in translucent. No, they call it sheer. And we're going to. It's brand new. I bought it the other day. And. They have a little thing that says pour powder here. I tried to do this video yesterday, but my phone rang right at the end. So I didn't, I can't post it when I wasn't even done. I'm just going to, I don't have any cream contour in e.l.f. I didn't find any at Ulta or Walmart. Most of these products cost like three bucks, two or three bucks. I think the highest one is 10 and that's the eyeshadow palette i didn't get a quad i got a palette and then um the next one would be about six dollars i believe i want to get their opposites attract palette have y'all seen that it's on that it's online i haven't seen it in a store yet but it looks so gorgeous i think those colors are great but then again, there's a ton of palettes over here that I probably have those colors, just not e.l.f. And e.l.f. is a, not that expensive. It's very... All right, this is a contour palette. We're going to go with, and we're going to do some of the contouring. And I think we're going to go into this color, and possibly this, depending on the way it works out. And if we need to bright, dull, dull it down a little bit. You could tell I dyed my hair when I moved my head a certain way. I dyed it deep violet, which looks red. Let me get the contour underneath there. Try to deepen that up a little bit. And up here, the mirror lights don't really show it, so I always have to move out of the way a little bit. But I didn't like it being dull for y'all to look at, so, all right. I bought a blush, but then I noticed that I had blush in here that was a little lighter than this bright pink. 
So, I'm still going to go into the bright pink. It was only like a dollar or two. And that's exactly the color. It's called bright pink. We might not be able to use it. Hold on. All right. We can use it. It didn't break. It hit the floor and still didn't break. Okay. And just put it right there. I'm not a big blush person. But it does give your face a pop of color. Alright. I always diffuse it. Y'all know that. If you've been watching for a minute. Always diffuse it down a little bit. We're going to use one of those little colors out of there to diffuse it down. All right. It looks a little uneven. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we are going to do the brows. And I found this e.l.f. brow pencil. It's got a spoolie on one end. Okay. And then it's got this little, at this end, just like a little tip. It's a little different than what I usually use. I want to make sure to get it exactly where it's supposed to be. I believe this is the color brunette or dark brown. I know it's not black. There we go. Sisters, but not twins. All right. Oh, wait, there's the color. Deep brown. Basically black, probably. All right. Now we go into the, um, I'm going to do the highlight last. We're going to go into this Rose Gold Sunset Elf Palette. I think this is so beautiful. We're going to start off with um, this white color here. We're going to use a Morphe brush. So far, but since I did do this video yesterday, the foundation were beautiful all day. So I do have an update. It wore beautiful, the powder, nothing separated, and I believe it was only like $6. Sorry, the phone keeps ringing. That's my mom. I will call her back in just a second. We are getting this video done. Okay, now we're going into this pinkish color here. There's no names on these. So, we're going to use that. A slightly darkening. I'm sorry, I was being quiet. I was trying to hear what she was saying on the answering machine. This is like going to be just an everyday kind of look, I guess you could say. Might need to darken up that crease just a little, but not much. All right, let's see. Let's grab this little brush here, and we'll go into this brown color that was next to that pink, pinkish. And we'll darken that crease up just a tad. There we 
go. Let's get another brush and we'll darken the outer V a little bit. Something simple I've turned into something crazy, haven't I? Alright. That's the thing, you start doing it and then you realize you want to do something different. Alright, now we're going to take my flat brush. We're going to go all into this gold color here. It's the only real big, bright, shimmery type color I got in the palette. And we're just going to tuck it in to the crease like that. Alright, let's go on the other eye. There we go. There we go. That looks really pretty. All right, now we're gonna take a blending brush and we're just gonna diffuse around the edges here. And then we're gonna take back into this palette, into the crease. And we're going to deepen it a little more. There we go. And we're going to try to blend it into, instead of using the camera, try not to block y'all's view. Smoke it out along the lower lash line. There's a lot of drama going on with my brother right now. And I may end up with another person to take care of. I'm kind of hoping I don't, but we'll do a get ready with me chit chat. Um, okay, um, now we're going to go into the highlighter. And of course, heart defense. Um, coffee and cream, I believe. Yeah, coffee and cream highlighter. We're going to go into the cream side. And we're going to do an inner corner highlight with it. 